I never felt tomorrow closing in this fast. Oh, I guess time's in a rush. Leaves are falling down. I'm gonna be making a Bisquick strawberry shortcake that I got off the Betty Crocker site. You're gonna need four cups of strawberry sliced. Um, two and a third cup Bisquick. Three tablespoons sugar and three tablespoons softened butter or margarine. So let me get the sugar. I'm just going to use the uh, this parquet spread. I got the three tablespoons there. And then you're going to need a half a cup of milk. And then you're going to mix until soft dough forms. Okay, so you just want to mix it until it's all mixed together and soft. Okay. So, pretty well got it all mixed together. If you've ever made biscuit then you know you just okay so it looks like it's all mixed together. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a teaspoon there and you're going to grease your cookie sheet and then you're going to put spoonfuls on the cookie sheet like you do, you know, drop biscuits Make sure your hands are clean. And you do that. So that's about how much I got. Add a little bit more to this and make it a little bigger than like that one. And then I press it down a little bit. That's to make six, so that's why I'm making them a little bigger. And I got six there. Okay, so. Well, I'm going to make eight because it, this is making eight. I'm supposed to make them bigger, but it doesn't look like um, the picture. Okay. Just 
make it, you can just add some dough to it to make it a little bigger. So they'll all kind of be like the same size. They don't have to be. You don't want to press them down too hard because you're going to have to slice them. So here, let me do like that. And it will, they will rise. So now what I'm going to do is put it in a 425 degree oven. And I'm going to bake it for 10 to 12 minutes. I'm going to check it at tw uh, 10 minutes. Now the recipe calls to whip half a cup of whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream. So... What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use a cup because when you use heavy whipping cream, it doubles in size. So I'm going to use a cup of just frozen whipped cream instead. If you want to use the heavy whipping cream and make your own, go ahead. But this is just easier and quicker. And it's just as good to me. And then four cups of strawberries. And then mix all of that together. The Bisquick biscuits are done. So I've got to let them cool. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to, that the biscuits are cooled, well, just be careful so they don't break apart like that one did. I'm going to be, maybe cut more. Yeah, you know, I would not, I would uh, make these at four, um, 400 degrees. Because that way they don't get so brown at the bottom. I uh, did it like the direction said. 425 for 10 minutes. And the bottom's got more brown. But they're done inside. So just uh, carefully cut these in two. Okay, I finished cutting them. And these are really flaky at the top, so. And now what you do is you just fill it in the middle with your strawberry filling. And then put the top back on there. Just do like that. Just keep filling it. If your biscuits are flaky like that on the top, then you can just like put it together like that. Yeah, well. Oh well. It'll still be good. And see how I'm doing that? And just do like that. This will make a good snack or for breakfast.
something qu quick for breakfast that you could eat. Okay, so I've got them all filled. They did uh, kind of, they are flaky on top. But they look good. There. Okay, now you're going to want to keep these in the refrigerator because there is whipped topping in it and strawberries you want to keep cold. But that's what they look like. Let me try it. Messy, but good. Alright, thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, I hope you subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Bye.